Good morning, Playmobil fans. Welcome to the episode of This or That, or as I really should have called it from the beginning, Wet Figures, because that was a far better name that I came up with after I recorded the very first episode. So, you know what? Go figure. <laughs> uh, anyway, in this section, I take a look at uh, basically blind bags, opaque bags, which uh, Playmobil provide to me. This one comes all the way from Series 15. Uh, the previous one was Series 17, so I'm kind of going backwards in time here. But no, never mind, never mind. Uh, basically, one thing that Playmobil does is the, uh, they gender their bags. They provide boy toys for uh, the boys and girls toys for the girls, or girls toys for the boys and boys toys for girls. You never know. You never know what kids are into these days. But yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really keen on the fact that they basically divide up their profit this way. Uh, but I do like the way that they, uh, they're not so gendered in their in their portrayal of certain jobs or whatnot i mean here we have a male hairstylist for goodness sakes and a a female spartan warrior who just really wants to have a nice french braid uh, uh, anyway yeah we'll take a look at what's inside and uh be warned that there will be quite a few jump cuts uh, because there's quite a few assembly uh quite a bit of assembly required when uh, making these things from just blind bags as i found out the first time around anyway without further ado let's do our very first jump cut all right, I got my scissors and I got my figures, so let's do this. Ooh, this looks interesting. I think we will have to uh, jump cut, but it looks like I got some sort of a uh, ginger who uh, wears a kilt. Wow, I was right. It was a little uh, Celtic man with some sort of uh, kilt going on. He's got a really cool uh, shield there. Uh, awesome beard and cool man bun, I guess. Um, he comes with armor, uh, which is interesting. Um, interesting that he comes with plated armor and stuff. I didn't think they had that at the time, but what do I know? I'm not the historian. Playmobil obviously is. <laughs> anyway, very cool figure. Um, I just liked the, the hair piece. Uh, it's very feminine yet manly. Um, so yeah, that guy is very cool. Uh, the other ones will have uh, quite a lot to beat, uh, especially if he has that sword going on. Uh, he's quite the uh, contender there. So anyway, let's put them off to the side and see what else we have. All right, this bag is very pink and I've got something very sharp for it. Ooh, wow, this one's very fiery. Um, digging the dress, and it looks like there's some wings, uh, some sort of fire effect here. Uh, so this will be fun, this will be interesting, whoa. Wow, now this is a uh, demon princess or something going on. I, I just really dig the the fire motif going on all the way up to her uh, flaming fire staff of, of darkness or something. She looks very evil, and, and but so uh, alluring, too. <laughs> I really like the minimalistic effect that they have going on while trying to convey such a weird, interesting topic. Uh, don't really like the fact that this torso doesn't really turn. Um, and the fact that it's all a little stiff, uh, the wings seem like they would fall off pretty easily too, but they're just so cool. I mean, uh, they're just attached onto the back, uh, through this neck bracelet thing. Uh, but yeah, she's very cool. Um, not, not the highest. She definitely doesn't beat out the, uh, dwarf king guy, Celtic man, whatever. Uh, but she's definitely close in the contenders. So, uh, let's see what the other ones are. All right, last but not least for the boy figures, let's uh, see what's on inside. Oh, well, he's definitely a football player. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's take a foot, take a look. Yep, definitely a football player. Number sixty-seven. That's pretty cool. Um, very interesting fact that the jersey's uh, another shirt over his other shirt. That's very interesting. Also, the fact that they gave me an extra arm. I'm not really. That's this is the first time that's ever happened. Usually they give an extra innered piece here, um, uh, the gray piece. You can barely see it there. Uh, but the first time they ever gave me an extra arm. Hopefully they didn't short another bag and arm. Um, hopefully that didn't happen. But I, I really like this uh, sort of detail on the on the helmet there. Very angry football. Uh, no other real decals going on. Just a little bare minimal around the edge there. Also, missed opportunity with this guy. He should have had black underneath his eyes, but with the helmet on, you wouldn't be able to tell anyway. So that's, uh, I don't know, kind of a moot point, really. Uh, not really uh, not really digging this guy. He's cool and all, but I don't know. 
I'm not really into sports. What can I say? I sit inside all day and play with toys. So, uh, yeah, this guy is definitely at the bottom. Uh, and let's uh, see what, uh, what else is there. All right, last but not least, we have one more girl figure. Uh, let's see what lies inside. Oh, I did not cut that well. Oh, geez. Okay, there we go. Salvaged it. Hooray! All right, what do we have? Ooh, looks like some sort of uh, hula girl. Looks like it. All right, well, uh, let's take a look. Oh, wow. Now, this is a nice, detailed figure. Uh, just the fact that they have all of the different uh, flowers for the lays and the the headdress, all that was separate. And the fact that they have a little, uh, little anklets there just really brings out the, the hula in this hula girl. And definitely uh, makes this one of my favorite ones out of the out of the four that I opened for this video. So, uh, which one will we, uh, will we keep out of the total? Let's just see. All right, here's the moment of truth. Which one of these figures is my favorite and which ones will be cast away to the thrift store bin? Um, all right, so out of the boys' figures, really it's no contest. Uh, Football Man is out of here. I really, really like the Celtic Viking guy. Just the fact that he's just so detailed and, I don't know, he's, he's really rocking that man bun, to be honest. That's what's doing it for me. And out of the girls' figures, as much as I like the Fire Queen, whatever, the wings I found, especially during takes and trying to adjust them for this specific take, eh, she's a little uh, gaudy and flimsy. So, out of these two, um, I chose the, uh, the Hula Girl. Um, and out of these two, the final contending, which one's the best? Mm, the Hula Girl. I will be keeping the Hula Girl because she's very Hula-ish and to be honest, I, I kind of dig that. Uh, that's really not a proper response. I really dig the fact that this is such a detailed figure. Um, I did not expect this. In fact, I didn't even look at the other figures that were available for me to get in these uh, blind bags because I, honestly, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't really do much besides... Uh, prompt me to buy more and lord knows i need to buy more things to review for you guys so anyway that was it uh if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing leave a like and subscribe and i will see you next time bye